three, two, one. Cue new intro. This unboxing is specifically for the guys at the Inverse 8Z Worldwide group on Facebook. They will know why, I think, maybe, specifically Fran, is an unboxing from a guy called Dan, uh, who owns Poison Trog Live Foods. Just have to because I didn't want to get that wrong. Um, as some of you may or may not have known, I was looking for a particular uh, isopod recently and wherever I went it seemed to be extremely expensive which isn't ideal um, especially when we don't have Mooney but I did order a few other bits so I'll start with the others and then I'll go on to the main part of the order let's have a look so look how well packaged it is ah perfect so you've got obviously this is to keep everything staying as is, um, which is super handy. Um, so that's the surprise, so we won't go straight to that. So one of the things I ordered, because I know that isopods do like to eat their fungus and so forth, is out my knee. A bag of sponge mushrooms. So you've got smaller bits, but you've also got some really hefty doesn't smell like anything, but there is bits of, I said more, it's sort of mould. Let's say with mould, a good mould. Um, perfect for your isopods, millipedes, possibly cockroaches, although I'm sure I'll be corrected by a certain someone in the group that I just mentioned. Um, and spring tails, and there's lots of little crevices in there as well, which the spring tails can probably create their own little colony. So I got these, um, there is absolutely loads in the bag and it was cheap as chips. I will pop this Facebook link somewhere down there. Uh, just to clarify, I didn't get this free, nor did I get paid. Um, I'm doing it because it took me so, it didn't take me so long. It was good to see someone not doing insane prices for what I've got in here. Uh, the other I completely forgot about these as well. Oh, perfect. Again, almond leaves. Another big old bag, and again, an insanely good price. Um, these will be going in the axolotl tank, in the mixed wildlife tank, which, oh my god, the my orange isopods, I can see, forgot the name. Orange, they're orange. Um, for them, Again, millipedes, crabs, next bottles, uh, cockroaches and whatever, but again, there's absolutely loads. Don't smell of anything, but they are very dead, um, very dry, so that is going to be absolutely perfect for both the nom and aesthetics, so good work. I really forgot about them. The other thing, I had, which is important to, oh my god, there's loads. Um, a good setup is always going to be springtails. Now, I know the camera won't be these up because they're too tiny, but believe me when I say I have never seen this many springtails ever. There is billions of them. Oh my lord. And again, considerably cheaper um, for the amount that you get than a lot of other places. Oh my god, they are... There's loads. There's absolutely loads. And they're hanging all over, hanging all over the place. Because they don't fall. But awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Sorry, I've never seen this many spring tails. Good work. Awesome. Now, this is what we've all been waiting for. So in here is something, something incredible. Um, actually, I might keep them in this tub because it 
good. Good little pod. Um, so let's crack them open. Now this is going to be fun because of the size of them. I don't know if they're going to get picked up. I'll pop the name of them in the bottom because I am not fabulous when it comes to pronouncing the names of things. Um, oh, um, there's some spring towels in here as well. Bonus! So, let's get these guys out. Now, I'm going to try really hard to get these on camera because I know you'll all want to see them. Eat them out. Oh, perfect! And I've got adults as well. Which is ideal if you want to start your own colony of bees. Roll over. There you go, that gives you an idea. Roll, 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 roll. There's a bit of leaf in there. Uh, super active. They're running all over my hand. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. Um, so there is 10 in here. Actually, I got thrown in a free, couple of free ones as well, which again is awesome with these sort of things. You never really get that. I'll find the rest later, for as long as they don't escape. Ah, uh, oh. No, it's all good. So, look at my dirty floor, and I have ah, there we go. That is better. Pop this one back over here. Oh no! There you go. That's better. Quick little fellas, but seriously, look at the colours on, especially that one. Look at those colours. Just ignore the dehumidifier, but there is. I believe I got 15 um, instead of just the 10 that I ordered but there we go that that is the main oh I can't get over the colors of them so pretty I have to pop them in nice and safe So, no, sorry, the camera decided it would get to 10 minutes and uh, cut off. So, and now it won't focus, which is a massive shame. So let's just try to get it up. Oh, there she is. So, as I was saying, um, she looks and is believed to be gravid. Um, and she is absolutely adorable. But I'm going to put her back now because I don't want to stress her out too much. And she is webbing all over me. But look at her. Look at her go. Ah, right, let's get you back into a nice house. Come on. So that was that, just to recap again, um, I got my uh, Zebra Isopods, it's uh, Armadillium Maculatum, again I will put it here because I don't want to butcher it completely. Um, I also got my massive bag of almond leaves, which again were insanely cheap, don't smell like almonds. A massive bag of sponge mushrooms. Um, again, they're going to be familiar for stamping them up a bit, maybe a soft growth fungus and um, mould on them, which will be eaten by the absolutely monstrous bag box um, or litre of springtails. Seriously, I'm not exaggerating, I've never seen this many. And of course, the jumping spider from Patricia Yates as well. You'll see that I emphasise really strongly on that bit because. I've messed it up about six times. Sorry, Patricia. Yes. Last note, um, I will be hopefully at the Doncaster show on the 24th of June. Um, I'm going to be picking up an ooth from Unseen Universe and a couple of other bits that I won't tell you because of course that will ruin the unboxing. And then it's not a surprise. It's a quick update. So, what has happened recently? Orchids. Uh, I've now got two confirmed males, two confirmed females. I've got 
Obviously that gravid jumping spider, my Heteromentus lauticus have mated. Um, I kept them, the male and the female separate for three days or so and then put them together and they were literally straight at it, um, which is a massive bonus. I've now got a nine month, 12 month wait until I um, have baby scorpions. But I can wait, it'll be great. Um, my tail strip scorpions, my daemon, uh, Medus, Med, Medius, again, it's here somewhere. Um, are male and female, they're both over a year, which I believe they can make at that point. Um, so hopefully I'll have some babies of those as well. Thanks for watching. Um, last video, I, last, no, last check, I got up to 1,300 odd views, which is awesome. Um, let's see if we can beat it on this one as well. My subscribers went up by 40 which was cool, people care enough to want to watch. Um, but yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to, uh, it's not the end of the world. If you don't, click the notifications, then it'll ping up where my face is on Facebook, blow up my face is on YouTube again. Um, and that is it, that is everything. Actually, two questions for you before I go. Are you going to Doncaster, and if so, what are you picking up, or want to pick up, and two, when I film, do you prefer it this angle? So I've got the mix tank here and the oxalotl, axolotl tank here, or more centre and doing the shots on the table, which is more pleasing to your eyes. Um, cool. Done. Bye.